Hello and welcome back to CPCC Eclipse. In prior discussion board videos, we created Forum 1. One of the options that we enabled, we click the modify here, we can take a look at our settings on the forum. And one of the options we enabled was the ability of people to subscribe. The default is not to allow them to subscribe, but we chose to allow members to subscribe to the forum or to subscribe to threads. Um, I've always been a, a, an advocate for the subscribe to forum for students and also for the instructors. There's a real benefit for instructors and we're going to demonstrate that. Um, I'm also going to recommend to, that you check the option to include the body of the post in the email instead of the link. Um, what happens is if you enable the subscribe option and include the body of the post in the email and you enable this on each forum, then when students post a message, you receive an email with the message that they posted provided that you subscribed. It's a nice way to receive consistent flow of activity that's going on. Now, if you're a very chat, you know, chatty discussion forum kind of group, you're probably going to get a lot of email. It might not be what you want to do. However, for me, in my, in my courses, I, I've generally uh, had like a support forum, for example. And we don't get a lot of posts in there. Uh, however, if a student were to post and I didn't get an email notification, uh, short of me checking it all of the time, um, there could be a real gap between when they asked a question or uh, you know, posted about a problem than, uh, you know, between when I got that and when I would be able to respond. So enabling this has been, has been a real benefit. So we've checked these options, and we're going to hit Submit. And now um, I'm going to pull up a student window. So if the student goes to this, this discussion board and goes into that forum and then posts a new thread called Help Me SOS. Now look, before the student submits it, I'm going to swap back over here to the instructor view. I go into Forum 1, and there's an option over here on the right side for subscribe. Click on the subscribe button, and I get a confirmation that I've been subscribed to the forum. Okay, so that's, that's sort of the first step. Now that I've subscribed, I get email notifications. So this student is in the forum and posts a help me SOS message. Submit. There's his message. The student sees it. The student's waiting for a response. I'm the instructor. I receive an email. And this is basically what it looks like. From the Blackboard admin to the class, that's the course ID. So it would be more like 2009 spring prefix number section, yada, yada. New post, help me. Author, Adam Brooks, and reply to, this is actually a link to the forum, and the message SOS. So I get instant email notification of student post into a discussion board. So that can be a real uh, benefit as far as having timely response and knowing what's going on in discussion boards, especially if you're trying to um, provide, say, a support forum or general uh, you know, feedback or, or um, whatever forums. Those are great. And again, it could be a problem. If I have 100 students and they're very active, very involved in discussion, and I'm getting 100 emails a day, yeah, it's probably not what I want. And in that case, in the same way that, uh, that I subscribed uh, to a forum, I can also click and unsubscribe. And so from now on, when people were, would uh, post, I would not receive that email.
So uh, that concludes a, a quick overview of the forum uh, discussion board subscribe options. Uh, again, uh, those options can be enabled if you're in the discussion board area. If you're adding a new forum, it shows up in the forum settings when you're creating it as right here, subscribe. And you could choose to allow thread subscriptions, which means they would subscri subscribe to a single post, or forum subscriptions where they would subscribe to receive notifications for the entire forum. Um, that's upon create. Now, if you've already created it and you just want to review that setting, go to your discussion board list and hit modify on uh, an existing forum. And there you'll see, scroll down to forum settings, the same option. And you can set it there. And you set it and then click on the submit button uh, at the bottom to make that change. And the next step in that is that you still have to go into that forum and you're going to have to click on the subscribe button in order to actually be subscribed. Students get the same option. Students, if I if they go into a discussion forum that has the subscribe option enabled, uh, they have a subscribe button. So now uh, I'm Adam Brooks' student, and I click subscribe. The student would also now receive uh, email notices when new posts showed up in that forum. So uh, anyway, that's the overview. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact uh, CPCC's uh, e-learning area at 704-330-6111 or send us an email to idev at cpcc.edu.